why did you even get into this sport if that's your mentality and the way that you think? I don't even want the title. I don't even want the championship. We're friends. We're this. We're that. This is not about friendship. This is about finding out who the best in the world is. And if you don't want to find out who the best in the world is, this is not the place for you. You should be somewhere else. Preach, Dana. We are so sick of all these fighters who become friends with each other and they're in the top 10 of the rankings. So Marab Devalashvili came out and said that he's willing to wait out again for Eljame Stalin to get his rematch. And Dana, as well as all the fans, are upset about this because Marab should have already fought for the belt. Why is he always giving up his spot, holding himself off from a title shot? What? I repeat what Dana says. What is he doing here? What are his goals? Are his goals for himself to become the best fighter in the world? Or for his friend to become the best fighter in the world? And he's fighting as a side job, trying to beat the other contenders from fighting El Jermaine to make El Jermaine's path easier. And El Jermaine came out and said that he wants to get an immediate rematch, but if Sean O'Malley decides to turn him down, then Marab Devalashvili should get the title shot. So El Jermaine and Marab are both on the same page the Elder should get a title shot first, and Marab will wait around. What a weird scenario. And we know that El Jermaine's probably not going to go up to 145. He said after the Sean O'Malley fight that, you know, if O'Malley did that to him, he could only imagine what Volk would do to him. Pretty much signaling that he's going to be around at 135. And if he's around at the top, and he gets the belt again, let's say he fights O'Malley, beats him, gets the belt, what does Marab do for the rest of his career? He's just going to be second-hand man he's just gonna be the best man like what is going on here because in a rematch sterling absolutely has a shot at beating o'malley but let's say eljo loses a rematch or he doesn't get the fight and marab goes and beats o'malley then what does eljo do eljo's gonna be the best man now he's gonna be the second-hand guy i've never liked this whole thing about friends being in the same organization in the same division at that point why don't they just fight each other there's a lot of guys that are going to become friends, right? Look at the welterweight division, for an example. Welterweight's been a mess with this for a long time. We have four fighters in the top 10 of the welterweight division that are potentially friends with each other. I, I don't even know if they're exactly friends, but there's a lot of connections there. So you have Gilbert Burns and Kamar Usman, who are only willing to fight each other if it is for a title. And both guys are in the top five. So there's two top five guys that will not fight each other ever again because I don't see them becoming champions anymore. Then you have Shafkat who Kamaru Usman just said he trains with him and doesn't want to fight him unless it's for a belt. Yeah, it's a fight I would take for the title. I mean, that's the thing is, at the end of the day, every man wants to be the champion. Like, we get into this, when you get to the top of the sport, you want to be a champion. If it's not for the championship and we happen to train with the exact same coach, like, why? What's the point? Shavka is another guy in the top five. So now there's three top five guys who are probably not going to fight each other. I don't know if Shavka has the same perspective on that, but if Usman's not going to fight Shavka, I can only imagine that Gilbert probably will do the same. And now we have Ian Gary. This is something I didn't know about. Ian Gary also trained with Shavka. And I think it's a reason why Ian Gary said that he would fight Shavka one day. Not right now, but maybe one day. And it looks like he's seeing it the same way Usman does. I'll fight him for the belt. That's what I'm getting out of it. I'll fight him if it's a title fight. We train together, it'll be awkward. I've trained with Shavkat and Penny now. Me and Shavkat will be a hell of a show if that happens one day. I know you won't fight Gilbert. Gilbert's my boy. I was actually going to call him out for the crack tonight. There's potentially four fighters in the top 10 who are not going to fight each other. Three fighters in the top five. And it completely destroys excitement from the fans in these weight classes when there's so many friends they are not willing to fight each other. On one hand, it's pretty cool. You know, you and your friend are up there. You guys are killing it. You guys are doing amazing. That part's cool. But then if both of you guys are kind of hogging up spaces in the rankings because you're not willing to fight each other and an Eljo and Marab situation, it's even further than that because they're kind of giving each other a path to a title shot. It ruins a lot of fights, man. It ruins a lot of divisions because you know what the crazy thing is? Marab and Eljamain Sterling would actually be an interesting fight. And Eljamain is potentially Marab's toughest fight in the whole division. Because he's probably the only guy that can submit him. Right? He's probably the only guy that Marab would not want to go to the ground with. And then looking in the welterweight division, Kamar Usman and Shavkat should be the fight that gets made next. That is the most logical fight, but the fact that Usman is not willing to fight Shavkat, it throws that big fight out the window. 
And off of that, I can only imagine that Burns won't fight Shavkat too, which is another amazing fight, leaving Shavkat without two guys that he could potentially fight in the top five. And here's a thing to think about. With all these mega gyms being so big and growing, are we going to see more fighters become friends and then not willing to fight each other? Or would it become so saturated with so much talent that these guys are not going to become friends with each other, that they'll be willing to fight each other? Hopefully that would be the route because mega gyms are becoming even larger and there's more of them nowadays. 